The Boston Bruins enter the final 10 days of the regular season in St. Louis, where they will face the hottest team in the NHL, the Blues. The Bees have secured a spot in the postseason and are now focused on getting healthy and finishing strong. As Boston looks to move up in the final standings, the man taking the opening puck drop for the black and gold tonight is the pride of Weymouth, Massachusetts, number 13, Charlie Coyle. Shift going. Get in, then we go to work. <laughs> that was nice. Good action there. Like it. Like it. one's in, baby. Regulation ends with the score knotted at two. As they look to snap the Blues' nine-game winning streak, the Bruins send out Charlie McAvoy and Jake DeBrusque, centered by Charlie Coyle, to start OT. Yeah! Saturday afternoon in Boston, Massachusetts, where the Bruins will be facing one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference, the New York Rangers. He's back. He's back. Yeah, the big news in the Bruins locker room is the return from injury of some important players. Linus Allmark, Hampus Lindholm, and leading scorer, David Pasternak. What's up? important test versus the Rangers today, but it's obvious that number 75, Connor Clifton, is keeping things loose as he takes the ice for warm-ups. Holy a lot of babies in that corner. Oh, that guy's a unit. Stay out of my way. A big game for Connor Clifton and the Bruins this afternoon as they face a tough opponent in the New York Rangers. Hey, Hey, I'm stuck, you okay? God, you're heavy. That's it, Forbes. They get back in it, buddy. That's it. All right. Yeah, I'm great. 
Where'd it go? Is it leaner? You catch it? No. Went straight up. I had glove save. Come on. Fing 88. Welcome back, bud. Score goal. After two periods, the Bruins hold a 2-0 lead. But a Rangers goal early in the third makes it, well, a little more interesting. Busy weekend for Eric Howla and the Bruins. Just 24 hours after beating the Rangers, they are in Montreal for their second game in two days. And where, before puck drop, the Canadians honor the passing of a true hockey legend, Guy Lafleur. <laughs> Late in the first period, Eric is slashed on a breakaway and awarded what will be a very memorable penalty shot. This is like Thank you. Dude. I'm not the only one. I'm dragging my stick and hit an icicle right over the puck. Oh, I know it. Hey, how big was your sigh relief? Maybe people don't forget. Can they challenge that? This is going to be a hell of a mic'd up here, buddy. Oh, All I needed was a fall on my there, too. Just double check and make sure. Was there a puck out there? It's probably not going to be anywhere on social media. Hey? Okay? No. Remember Marcy did that? Did he score? No, he, he barely touched the puck. Oh, he touched it. It moved like a little bit in the, in the shootout and the game was over. That was, that was it. At least he got to skate off. I would have had two periods of hell going on. I think that's my first penalty shot in a game. Really? That went really well. Let me! Go oh, shoot! Yeah, baby! I don't know, great pass. Yes! The Habs score a couple in the third period to make things close. But the captain ices this game with his second goal of the night, and Boston cruises to a 5 3 victory. Wait to stick with it. A couple of great goals. One of the best penalty shots I've ever seen by oh! the there. But I gotta give it to our captain, fourth yeah. all time on the goals in Bruins history. Wow. Wow. Sometimes we might pace that in the playoffs, boys. You know, it's not going to be perfect at all times. We regroup, we found a way, and that's yeah. all that matters. So move on to the next one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 
As the Bruins continue their push to the regular season finish line, Curtis Lazar and the boys face a difficult task in game number 80. The team with the best record in the National Hockey League, the Florida Panthers. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Tim Tebow, I like that. I got one for you coming. Let's go. Let's go. Pleasure. Let's go. With the end of the season fast approaching, it's awards night for the Bruins at TD Garden. So lots of hardware being distributed before the game, as well as some good-natured ribbing. I'm right here, your first in my heart. Best looking. A $1,000 donation will be made. So you take, take it for a lap. I should take it for a spin, eh? Right? This one might be you, Eric. This season, John I should keep my helmet on, eh? <laughs> wow! Wow! Congrats, man. Thanks, Chief. Chip! Hit. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Hey, that's two. Let's go, hey. Yeah, get her down low. Good job, Fred. Way to be first on that floor check. You set us up for a good one. I appreciate it, man. Oh, it makes a huge difference, man. Jake DeBrusque's 24th goal of the year in the second period gives Boston the lead. Then, the Bruins' defense clamps down on the Panthers in the third period, allowing only three shots. Get out! There we go! After the Bees' convincing win, it's time for the annual Shirts Off Their Back ceremony, where the guys give their game jerseys to some deserving fans and have a little fun while they're at it. Receiving Curtis Lazar jersey, Grayson Farrell from Summers, Connecticut. Yeah, not something you normally write on, right? Thank you. Easier. There we go. That was great. Great job tonight. Yeah, I had three shots in the last period. Actually. Yeah, look at it. 21 shots at 18 after two. I got one glove say on your route, one dump, and one tip there yeah. at the end. <laughs> like, I was just standing around. Light work for you. Can't, can't even can't All right, let's go hit the gym. Over at Warrior Ice Arena today, the Bruins players and staff have a very special customized parting gift for head trainer Don Del Negro, who is retiring after 29 seasons with the club. We want to recognize your 29 years with the Bruins, with your organization, with everything you've been doing, your dedication, your hard work, all those years, everything you've done for all of us. Um, we want to wish you a happy retirement. You know, hopefully you get to enjoy and relax, spend some quality time with the family, with Claire, Renee, play a lot of golf, <laughs> play a lot of golf. And uh, we wanted to give you a little something. Marshy! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, man. Love you, man. Where's it go? <laughs> Appreciate it, really do. And it's not going to be easy, but um, I'll miss you guys every day. Think about you. Um, probably when I'm in the woods looking for my ball. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> but I love you guys. You've always been great to me, my family, and um, you know I wouldn't have stayed here 29 years if it um, wasn't the best job ever. So thank you guys. Love you. final time this regular season, it's hockey night at TD Garden, where the Bruins will be hosting the Buffalo Sabres. Rookie goaltender Jeremy Swayman will be backing up Linus Allmark in this one. Uh, not allowed. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. See! I can't see. I can't see! I know, beauty. Oh, the best one, yeah? Dialed. That's safe. Yep, another one, another one, another one. Before the game begins, the annual Nesson 7th Player Award is being given out. Voted on by the fans each season, it's awarded to the Bruins player who has performed above and beyond expectations. Jeremy Slater. Oh, that's a big trophy. Thank you. Thank you, you so much, Sean. Like, appreciate really, it. Really, congratulations. Thank you. I, you've been outstanding. Really appreciate it. Get in here, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank really you. appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'll take it back. No, no. I... We'll take it off the ice for you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to Oh. It takes a while for the Bruins to find their game, but two second period goals by Patrice Bergeron plus Pasta's 40th of the season gives them a good cushion. Lindy, what a quick up. Great Atta boy, Lindy. Great skill. Play. Just classic skill. In a row, C13 is getting two tickets to see The Who right here at TD Garden. The Who? Who? The Who? 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 Just like I am every day, cool. Four nothing Boston late in the third period and the only questions left in this game are whether Linus Olmark can nail down his first shutout as a Bruin. And can the captain score his 400th career goal to complete the hat trick? Yeah, I hope he gets one. Get him. Yeah! yeah! You called us! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, baby! Yeah, congrats, bro! After celebrating their shutout victory and number 37's historic achievement, Jeremy and all the Bruins acknowledge the final game of head trainer Don Del Negro. You legend! Oh, oh I love you, Dee Dee! Let me go! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, hey, you're going in. Oh, I love hockey. Great effort, obviously. Uh, happy birthday, Cliffy. Oh, yeah! Pasta, congrats. Congrats. Well, Only first shot as a Bruin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Regular season, you know, we got a big and long yeah. playoff run coming in front of us. But that being said, last regular season game in the Garden, his family was here. Donnie Dell, we we'll miss you. My head is exploding. What's going on today? I mean, that's that doesn't happen in every sport. It happens in no sport, I think. Um, you guys are just incredible. Um, I'd love to give this puck out 
the last game of the Stanley Cup this year too, though. Yeah. 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 game NHL regular season has come to a close. Now only the 16 strongest teams remain and the chase for Lord Stanley's Cup is on. Together the black and gold stand ready for the difficult journey ahead. Ready to overcome any obstacle in their pursuit of that fabled trophy. So yeah, let's go Bruins.